Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So this weekend was absolutely beautiful, and we decided to run out to another Castle Ruins on uh, Saturday. This is, hopefully I'm not butchering it, but Nakagasuku. Um, it was also built in the 14th century, and as you can see, there are no, like, buildings or anything with inside the walls. Um, I do believe this had some damage during the wars, but they have turned it into another historical site. It was just full of the most beautiful rock work I've ever seen. Um, it's very well known for this dry stacking. Uh, there are three different patterns or like um, shapes of rocks that they've put together. Just incredible. Um, the whole grounds were beautiful. We took lots of great photos and a few videos, as you see. The cherry blossoms are starting to peek out just a little bit. Um, usually Okinawa sees their biggest uh, show of them kind of late January, early February. And we get them before mainland typically does because, of course, we are more tropical. Technically, we're a subtropical island. Um, but you can see some of the castle walls here and then out into Okinawa, the city, and then further beyond that is the ocean. So unlike the last castle we went to, there are no buildings in this one, no uh, large palace type structures or anything like that that's mostly the walls like this right here which is a really cool display they had further out in the grounds um, this is where they would train horses and things like that everything was beautiful the flowers are starting to bloom here it's just absolutely gorgeous my favorite time of year here is when the cherry blossoms are about to be full blown Also enjoy this super awkward video of me thinking that my husband was taking a picture. <laughs> and then Sunday morning, I really wanted to make some homemade strawberry pastries. I have seen this, um, I think it was on Pinterest a long, long time ago. And it's just puff pastry that you get out of like the box in the freezer section. Um, 400 degrees, about eight or nine minutes and let them puff up. Put a little bit of strawberry jam on them. And then you're gonna pop them back in the oven for just a few minutes and then bring them back out and add some cream cheese frosting, filling, icing, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I just did a block of cream cheese with powdered sugar to taste and vanilla extract to taste. And then you're going to want to top this with fresh cut strawberries. The jam is really to kind of help hold everything down as well as the cream cheese. Um, but it also adds a little bit of sweetness because some strawberries lean a little on the tart side. And you could put them back in the oven after this if you wanted to, but we just ate them like this and they were absolutely delicious. I did take a little bit of that drizzle over the top because I love cream cheese and so does my husband. Anything cream cheese or cheesecake, we are all about that. So on Monday, I wanted to get started on these shrinky dinks that we'd been talking about. Um, I don't believe I'm going to show it here in this video, but in my next video, I'll make sure to compare and let you all see the difference between working with these uh, Posca paint pens and Sharpie markers, especially on the clear plastic. I did realize I've only ever used the Sharpies on the white plastic and they show up really nice because they have the white background. 
but on the clear they came out really dark, um, really muted dark. And they weren't providing the vibrancy or really even just the clarity that I wanted to be able to, you know, sell these pens. So I had a few of the Posca paint pens already, just a couple of random colors, white, black, gold. And I tested those out on a sheet first and quickly realized I need all the colors. <laughs> so um, I ran out to our local like stationery shop here in Okinawa. There's one called Green Note that I really love and bought a bunch of colors, not the whole line, which, you know, looking back, I should have bought everything that they had to offer, but it just turned out so much cuter, so much brighter, definitely more my vibe. Um, I had more, well, I had less color options with the paint pens, but because they're paint, you can kind of blend them together sometimes. You know, they just turned out a lot better than I had thought. I used to use my oven for this and I would have to, you know, let it preheat all the way up to like 320, 350, I forget what the actual shrink plastic thing says, and bake them for two or three minutes at a time, keep the oven going, but I've just realized that using my little toaster oven is so much better. Uh, it doesn't have to preheat, it doesn't take nearly as long, I can pop some in, take some out and go, you know, several minutes to several hours in between batches without having to either keep my oven going or booting it back up. Um, but they just turned out so cute here. I'm really happy with how the clear turned out. I was really skeptical after I had tried that initial pass through with the Sharpies. I just, I wasn't feeling it and I was afraid that I had a whole thing of clear shrink plastic for nothing. Um, but I, you know, I did some research and I could have probably done it with acrylics and stuff like that too, but it's hard to get all of those lines down and, you know, to have to actually paint everything. I just wasn't really interested in that. So I'm glad the paint pens worked out really well because I love how these turned out. So naturally, because I've done it on both sides of the clear plastic to give it that dimensional look, um, I am going to have to put resin on both sides. I read somewhere that you should Mod Podge first so the resin has something to stick to, but because I did actually go through and sand down the so both sides so that my paint pens would really stick to them because the clear glossy stuff is just so... You know, your paint like beads up instead of creating nice lines. Um, so I'm gonna have to resin both sides. That way the paint doesn't scratch off over time. Um, also, since I'm making these pins, I'm gonna put the pin backing in so that, you know, they're nice and secure and I don't have to worry about what kind of glue to use. Um, and if it looks like I'm using way too much resin on these, I am. I'm trying to figure it out still. These are some of the very first designs I've done um, as pins, so uh, don't worry. Over time, I, I fix that.
right and then after I took some time to kind of figure out how I'm going to display these for my shop um, which quick update in April um, is my first event this year so far to my knowledge um, February 1st I can sign up for it it's gonna be called the explosion it's the Easter um, event that our community center will be growing. I'm also potentially going to be at a youth center event at the end of April, um, but I don't have quite much information on that just yet. But I wanted to know how to display these and, you know, I, I was looking at backing cards and honestly, I just have so much variety right now. It didn't really make sense to make individual backing cards for each one of these designs. So I just found some little um, just craft paper cards that I knew I could use for other stuff like my keychains. Um, and just not to have so much product and that kind of stuff lying around. But all of these will fit on my brand new... A rotating display case that has the pegs, which I'm really excited about. I can't wait to take some footage of that once I get set up for my, my first event this year. Um, but I thought these turned out really good. They, they look professional. They're not exactly what I envision, you know, in the future or if I was trying to sell these on Etsy right now, um, which I wish I was, but you know, I'm not. Um, so these worked great for that and I'll put a link in my description box below if you like them too. I'm not getting any money with uh, my links or anything like that, but, you know, no gatekeeping on this channel. <laughs> Alright, it probably looks like I didn't do a whole lot this week that I just worked on those same three little pieces, but um, I had multiple batches going in the background and I'll show you guys a little bit more next week, um, some of my finished product, but um, this little clip is just me working on some of the other designs that I'm also working on in the background. I love frogs and they do really well in my shop, especially with the kids. And I wanted to make sure that since discovering the clear plastic, I, you know, try it out on all my designs just to see how things go. And uh, this one's a white shrink plastic material, but you'll see some clear ones of the frog too next week. Um, and then also next week, I'm, there's a project I'm getting into, I hope, that people will find interesting at my shows and stuff. There's a finite amount of what I'm going to do, so I don't really plan on having it be a permanent fixture of my shop or anything. We are going to play with some little mushroom gemstones and creating cute little terrariums for them as like a little fun thing to put on your desk. So uh, make sure you guys come back next week. I'll show off all the shrinky dinks put together in their little packaging and uh, some of the other designs I'm working on and we'll make some terrariums. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, all those wonderful things. And I will see you guys next week. Bye guys.